My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid fried chicken popcorn, get whatever you may need! And I hope you enjoy the video. Guys, I'm gonna be on the internet for a while, might not be able to use the phone. Hello? What's that? Yo, are you a real person? Does do does this game have like a uh, a uh, friend invite system? So where I like anytime I get on, I can see if you guys are on, so I can play with you guys again. For sure, dude. I'll add you. All right, all right, for sure, for sure. Hey, what's going on, you guys? <laughs> Wait, are you blind? Shut the fuck Oh my up. god, get off the mic. No one wants to hear you. <laughs> hey, what's going on, you guys? Shut up, bitch. bitch. You ain't nothing but a pussy ass nigga. And I fucked your mother, pussy. Fuck you talking about, bitch. I don't know. I just feel like. I guess because the internet is so popular today, online gaming is so popular today, Every, everybody has the internet, it's so easily accessible. I just feel like we'll never get back to those times to how when you first started playing online gaming and how fun it was connecting with people across the world and building relationships with these people and actually like playing with them and talking to them consistently i think those days are gone <laughs> i think those days are like completely gone now playing games online just means having a good multiplayer game and playing with you know your core group of either real life friends or people that you know, I mean, it, 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 it's not like you still can't meet, you know, random people on different games playing and become friends, but it's more of like a rare thing now. Now I just feel like online gaming is really just getting like a good multiplayer game that you and your small group of friends play going inside of a party chat and just staying in there like the whole time. It is not the same. These days when you try to get on an open mic, you don't know what the freak you're going to hear. <laughs> like it, it's, it, it's like a flip of the coins. Sometimes you in a good lobby. Sometimes the second you say something, you're just like, why did I even say anything? And you immediately just mute everybody like that. That wasn't a thing back in the day. Now people are very quick to mute suckers. And, you know, granted, it's, it's, it's definitely, you know, warranted with some of these players that you come in contact with online but i guess pretty much most of the uh glory days of online gaming of what i'm talking about all stems back to you know actually talking with these different players because th that's that's really the whole purpose of online gaming right it's to get on your favorite game and you know play with other different players that may or may not be as good as you talking to random people that you don't know in different states or different countries and building online relationships with these suckers and maybe actually becoming friends on these games and playing together, you know? And I just think that today is more rare than anything because I, I think when it comes to the level of to, uh, the level of, to, of tolerance that people have now, playing with different players online like the second someone becomes like annoying or they're too loud or they don't speak english <laughs> like whatever like people's tolerance level 
of playing with different players online and actually speaking to them and interacting with them, I just think it's at an all-time low now. And especially for girls, too. Girls, I know, get harassed online, especially if, especially if you're playing a shooter. The second you freaking say a word and them suckers hear you a girl, suddenly you got the whole lobby after you, <laughs> you know, so... I know it's bad for girls in certain games, you know, if you're black, yeah, of course. <laughs> I freaking lost count how many goddamn times I've been called the N-word online. You know, it, it's like, I, I, I definitely think it, it comes from, you know, having things like party chat now and from bad experience and from bad experiences that you know people may have had trying to actually you know talk to people i'm just saying playing socom 1 and socom 2 and halo 2 and halo 3 i have yet to it like that was quality <laughs> that that was just online gaming perfection dude from the actual games themselves to the community to you know actually talking to these random play and that's another thing a lot of these communities and games especially these days are just flat out cancer call of duty is bad i mean i mean i was actually shocked to find out because i always thought it was more of a like a I don't know if civilized is the right word, but even League of Legends, I hear that I hear that community is cancerous as freak. And I just thought it was more of a mature community, but no! <laughs> like to my understanding from the people that play League of Legends that tell me, like, no, League is one of the worst communities. So a lot of these games now for the communities aren't even you know, good no more. Like this, well, the SOCOM community is dead. <laughs> uh, Halo community is really not the same. And even for 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 the people that are still playing that game, it's either diehard fans that can't let go, or people that are still playing it saying why the previous Halos were so much better than the current Halo. So I don't remember the last time I was on an open mic just talking to random people and actually like became friends with somebody like that's <laughs> like those days are gone i don't remember the last i think the probably the last time i did that was maybe on halo 3 back in 2007 but as of late most of the time when i'm playing games online i'm either i either don't have my mic in or i'm in a party chat and i'm not and you know i'm not on a open mic so again i think Online gaming has gotten better in uh, in a whole bunch of different ways, but in some you know few ways, I, I I think it's just you can't get that same you know experience that you got back in the day when you first started playing games online and that experience you got talking with someone you know in a freaking different state or a freaking country even you know. So what do you guys think about online gaming? Um, hope hope you guys enjoyed this video. Catch on my next one. All right, peace.